Senator Kruger, you uh, just got up and, and spoke about halting government and, and not paying people, but it's okay not to pay the contractors that we put an amendment on the floor to pay. The contractors who are building buildings that are university senators, you say no to them, that's okay. Or those who are repairing our roads and bridges in the private sector, you say no to them, but you're concerned about halting government. Senator Liz Kruger, and she's not here right now, uh, I wish she was. When she sat on this side of the aisle, she always talked about reform, and she said just a few moments ago that the government is uh, not going to operate. I dare someone to vote so that the government doesn't operate. Senator Kruger, the government isn't operating. There's no budget. Ask the people of this state. It's not functioning. They don't believe that this government is operating. There's no budget. It's the 19th of April. There's no conference committees. Senator Kruger, you stood up, sir, and you said that there are three-way negotiations, admitting that two partners, two parties are being left out. That's why we want conference committees. Ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues, several members of the other side of the aisle have also asked for conference committees. Senator Sampson, sir, you're the leader of the Democratic Conference. I have great respect for you. It is time to commence conference committees. To sit here and say that we're going to shut government down, no, quite frankly, the people in my district have had it. They've had it with government. They're not happy. They want government to shut down. They want a wake-up call. They want the people in this chamber, the people who control this chamber, the Democrats who control this chamber, to begin to follow the law and commence with conference committees. It's the law. We all voted for it. I showed that last week. I believe it was 58 to nothing. It's time, folks. We can sit here and banter, uh, but I'm not afraid to vote no this week because that's what my constituents want. They've had it. They've had it. They want things to come to a halt. They want you to wake up. They want you to get your job done, do your job. They had to pay their taxes on the 15th. What happens if they didn't pay their state taxes? Somebody's going to come after them. But the legislators who make the laws don't have to pass a budget on time. They don't have to follow the law that they passed. I said this last week, and I'm going to keep saying it every week until there's a budget done. Because that's how the people in my district feel. And I guess what? Ask the people in your district. They feel the same way. They're not happy with you. They're not happy with you at all. They want you to do your job. So all I ask you to do leader, is let's follow the law that we all voted for in 2007. Let's follow that law. Let's commence the conference committees. And then we can talk about, Senator Kruger, your blueprint, your blueprint that, that raised taxes over a billion dollars and never had a financial plan. But that's OK. You had a blueprint. I want to sit at a conference committee so I can discuss the ideas. I want to be able to, to share with you my thoughts and ideas. But I can't do that because there are no conference committees commencing. So the only chance we get is right here on the floor. And Madam President, I am concerned about something in this chamber. All I hear is germaneness, germaneness. This is where we come. This is where we work. We're, this is where we express ourselves. You know, I've served here 22 years. And when I was in the majority, the minority always let us express ourselves, and the majority always let the minority express ourselves. When we start holding the line, on the opportunity to speak, the right that our constituents gave us to come here and represent them, then I get very, very nervous, Madam President. So uh, I'm not going to vote for this bill this time. I think it's time for the wake-up call. I'm going to go back and tell my constituents why I didn't vote for it. And again, uh, to Senator Kruger, and, and I wish you were here, um, government is already not functioning. It's not functioning. 